everybody, C Line Creates here. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to draw a Funko Pop figure. We're going to trace in most of the stuff and do just a little bit of tweaking to make it custom. Um, we're doing the Wally West Flash based on the original Barry Allen Flash. Super simple pop design, so it's a nice place to get started. Um, I've already gone ahead and gotten started. As you see here, I've been tracing in the outline for the figure. Um, the, what I'm doing is using the pen tool, the white selection tool, and just going back and forth, and I'm just tracing the lines in. So you draw a point, finish the line, and then go change your tool and edit the two handles on either side of your line. And you just manipulate it till it's the line you're trying to recreate. Uh, try and use the thinnest stroke line you can and I do it in black so it just it, it just helps in visibility um, go ahead and trace the full background in and we'll go through the finer points of this the newer Funko Pops are a lot more detailed so we'll start with a nice simple basis here All right, at this point, I'm just about finished with the left half of the body. And what I'm going to do to save myself a little time is copy, paste that left side, and then I'm going to go ahead and reflect it um, over that y-axis. The idea here is that it's a symmetrical pop on either side. So by just copying and pasting, I save so much time instead of drawing that whole other right side of the figure. Um, after that, what I'll do is I'll split the boot off because it's going to be different colors. So I want to make sure they are their own separate entity and not connected to the main body. Um, you may have noticed at the head, at the top of the body, and then you'll notice here on the leg. What I do is I drop that down below the boot because the boot is going to be at the top of my layer. So basically, I'm going to change the orientation, change which one is above the other one. So that bottom part of the leg that is underneath the boot won't be seen, just as the top part of the body that isn't perfect, that I just barely connected to connect, is under the head. So you won't see that at all in the final drawing. And this playing with layers and the depth at where you have things in your drawing is going to help you out a lot to achieve the uh, pop drawing effect. Alright, we'll go ahead and get his ear wings all situated and then add some more details to him. Um, I go ahead and copy, paste, transform then reflect again with the ear wings because again this is something that's symmetrical on either side there's no reason to do things twice um, so next up we'll start adding some details to the figure um, the shadows etc um, I start drawing them in black because I want to know where they are um, it just helps for visibility and then we'll go back group them all together so that you can change the color at the same time and we will adjust to make it that opaque white. So after adding highlights, we add color to it. It's a bit darker red than the Barry Allen flash, uh, a little bit metallic as well. Um, the logos to me look exactly the same. I stared at them for way too long. Um, to get that logo for his chest, all I do is go onto Google Images, search for the biggest PNG I can of the logo, download and use that. Um, sometimes I have to delete a background in Photoshop before using it, but it's usually pretty easy. I am just stealing some skin tone color here from another pop drawing I had done. We'll go ahead and adjust that here because it's not looking right um, tonally there again these are all just layers um, they're not actually they're all layers within a layer if that makes sense so all these things are either closer to the front or further in the back obviously the background we want to arrange that all the way at the back um, we're going to use the pathfinder tool here 
to make negative spaces with the cutouts in his arms. So the little shape I drew as that cutout uh, has to be in front of whatever you're trying to cut it out of. In this case, that white background. So we do that by arranging that front piece above the background and then just selecting them both and hitting subtract in the Pathfinder tool. That will bring everything to the front. You just have to arrange that back again to do it to the other side. Save it after you do anything because redoing things is not fun for anyone. All right, so at this point, we just need to add the logo and the stripes for his belt there. I somehow deleted that clip, but here is the finished pop drawing. Um, as you see, it's part of a larger set of Grant Morrison-style DC characters. I did an Arthur Curry with the hook, Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, and a Tomorrow Woman. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, if you like it, please smash that button. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my new intro, outro clip there. And what you'd like to see next. See you next time. Keep on creating.